Welcome back to another TC Vlogs. My name is Lillian Hernandez, AKA Lily Like the Flower, because we are learning and growing together. So in this vlog, as you see from the title, we're tapping into more so of a check-in with our mental health, our emotions, our feelings, because running a business, especially when you're running a business solo, is, feel, is, is almost close to climbing Mount Everest at times. Have I ever climbed Mount Everest or hiked Mount Everest? No, but I've seen videos and it looks pretty intense. Now, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but with this series, I'm inviting you all into my process. Things I've learned, things I've failed at, my consistencies and lack of consistencies, inconsistencies, my boundaries, my mission, all of those things. So the reason for this check-in is simply because it's been about, what, six weeks already of me posting consistently here on YouTube as well as with my podcast. And I'm not giving you guys the same content either. I'm giving you a brand new, whole new topic on the podcast and then a whole new topic more so based on my journey in real estate and business and being in my 40s and doing so, you know, everyone says consistency is key, consistency is key, but a part of that journey with consistency and building your courage is, yes, doing the work and not procrastinating, not reinforcing bad habits that prevented me from getting here, but it's also knowing that, is this still okay? How do I feel? Where am I doing well? And let me celebrate that. Where am I lacking? Where am I failing? Let me check in with myself in, in those areas. And at the start of this series, this vlog series, I made a playlist. So if you want to go watch it, please go watch the previous videos before this. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I truly appreciate it. We're almost at 1200 subscribers at the making of this video. So join the squad. I appreciate you all. So at the start of this series, I said, you know what? It's going to be a 10 week series where I give you guys, I invite you in to my, my life as a business owner. Having turned 40, I was like, you know what? This is it. This is my starting over season, my fresh start that I've been craving and needing and everything that I've done in the past to work, to put in the work, to, to do the work, to get to know myself, to get to know my business, to get to know my next steps, to get familiar, to get out of my comfort zone. It's go time. You know, it's like I've been conditioning, I went to preseason, and now it's the regular season, it's go time. And now I'm working my way up to make the playoffs, to make the championship, to eventually make the Olympics, to be the greatest of them all, whatever that is, you know, whatever that means to me. So, <laughs> This is why it's important to get to know yourself, but also make sure you're checking in with yourself. So being kind of at the halfway mark of this 10 week series, I talked about starting over at 40. I talked about how I audited my entire life. That was probably one of my most light bulb, mind blowing experiences I've had in a while because we get caught up in the monotony of the day. We get caught up in our own routines and, and, you know, expected and unexpected life occurrences, but we don't ever really take the time to be solo, to be still, to check in with ourselves for at least an hour a night, tapping into how is my mental health? How is my physical health? How are my finances? How is my spiritual health relationship? How do I still like these clothes? Do I still, <laughs> do I need to add curtains in here? Do I need to get rid of things, add things, you know, and just seeing what's bringing value into my life, what's not. And really sitting down with, you know, taking the time to do that from that moment on. Because the weekend before that, I found myself getting caught up in my emotions. So go back and watch that vlog. But after that, we talked about my game plan, what I'm struggling with. And here we are now discussing just the emotional aspects of running a business, checking in and how that's important. So, 
you know, even prior to doing my self audit, I noticed that I was going through an emotion. I wanted to give up. I felt myself giving up. I kind of did give up. And then something in me was like, don't do that. <laughs> do not give up. And I know when I have those major, like, don't give up moments, that my life is going to accelerate. Things are going to change. Things are not going to look the same as they did just 24 hours ago. And that's exactly what happened. So I've been on this journey of being more consistent, doing the things that I said I was going to do a year ago, two years ago, five years ago. And I'm producing the content that I've been wanting to produce here as well as on, on my, uh, my second channel that I have documenting my personal journey and building a coaching business, establishing what that looks like, whether it's solo or in a group environment, deciding, hey, what are, what are my next moves going to be, not just for this moment in, 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 of being in survival mode, not just in this moment of having a lack mentality, a scarcity mindset, not in this moment of I don't have enough, I, I, I feel inadequate, I feel like giving up. Take some time to stop like we are right now. This is a, simply just a check-in. Ask yourself, how are you doing? after reviewing and doing your audits and starting to implement new changes into your day-to-day -day routine or even the way you speak to yourself, that's always important as well because it starts with you. And that's what I had to learn is I was allowing certain emotions. I was allowing myself to dwell in certain emotions. I was taking things personally, dwelling and, and, and just suffering in silence for no reason, for nothing waiting for someone to, to, to pull me out of my own despair, waiting for someone to notice I'm a sad gal right now. <laughs> and that's just not how life works. I just wanted to come in here and make sure that we're all doing okay. This was a quick check-in. For me personally, overall, I would rate where I'm at today at a solid eight. I teeter between a seven and an eight. Have I had 10 out of 10 moments? I've definitely had 10 out of 10 moments, but I've also had zero out of 10 moments as well throughout this journey. And having the tools in place, you know, with my imaginary toolbox, if you've had a one-on-one -on -one with, with me, we've talked about our imaginary toolboxes and digging into those resources and getting back into even praying more and spending time with God and renewing my faith. It has been, I've seen so much improvement in my own self-love, in my own courage, in my own discipline in my day-to-day -day, that those moments when I just am feeling like crap or feeling yucky and I know it's not just, you know, a nap isn't gonna work or going for a walk isn't gonna work, it does help. But sometimes I just need to be still and go inward. And that has worked best for me. So I feel like I've been able to maintain a solid seven and eight over the last few months. And the moments, I, and when I say seven and eight, I mean like the majority of my days and time have been up, right? Mentally, emotionally. And my relationship with money has been just like this. It's been like this. So you're not alone if you're feeling like this. Of course, we want it to do this. We want it to go up. <laughs> but it has been more like, choom, choom. And that experience alone has taught me so much about myself and my relationship to my self-worth and my identity and how I was making money and clinging, clinging to money as my identity and how I valued my self-worth. And once I removed that aspect or began to the process of removing that mindset, things got so much better for me. Knowing like, okay, well, knowing my minimums, knowing my maximums financially, 
knowing this is how much it's going to cost to have additional fun outside of my house with my friends. Oh, I went over budget. Okay, so maybe I have to reevaluate that number or maybe not say yes so often. Or when I do, I need to communicate to the people I'm out with and say, hey, I'm on a budget this week. I'm either not going to drink or I won't be able to treat as much as I used to, as much as I usually do. Or perhaps we can reschedule. You know, it goes both ways. And that's something I also had to learn is I was taking it personally when I couldn't afford to do something, but then I would go out and do it anyway. And then I would resent everyone because I didn't have a good time. And it's just this vicious cycle, you know, and I was, and that those thoughts and those mindsets were bleeding into my business when certain things didn't close or things were getting delayed or I lost clients. I would just dwell and sit in that yuck for longer than I needed to. So doing all the work, checking in with, with myself occasionally, checking in with you all occasionally has made me realize that it's okay to celebrate your wins. It's okay to fail. It's okay to pause and be still. All of it is okay. As long as I'm progressing and knowing where I need to go and doing the work that I need to do to get there, then I'm fine. So... With that said, I hope you are doing well. This was a quick check-in. Life is not going to be perfect, but it is going to be amazing. So like I always say, care for yourself, care for your wealth. Your time is worth it. Let's coordinate.